Hi everyone, today we're going to be installing the programming software for the Click PLC. So what we want to do is call up our browser and go to automationdirect.com and once you're there on the left hand side of the page you'll come down to programmable controllers. Once you click that we'll go over to the Click PLC, select it, and then um, we get a variety of choices here. We'll go to programming software and cables. And under the software and cables, you'll see the link here for the download. So I'll right click that and just open that up in a new tab. Once we're here, it tells you the latest version. You can sign up to get email notification um, as soon as a new version's out. And you just want to download the file. So once you've downloaded the file, it's downloaded as a zip file. Then you right click it and extract it. And I've done that already. And what the, the extracted files look like are these. So you'll have a, um, an auto run. You'll have a, the click IO, uh, which is just the icon. Um, you'll have the uh, click setup. You'll have the click software installation uh, PDF. So a quick guide. You'll have the install .exe file. You'll have the USB serial driver. This is the USB to RS-232 driver. And then you'll have a readme file. So what you want to do is we'll go to the install and we'll double click it. It will come up with a, um, a different options here. So we can install the software, install the USB driver or an installation guide and we'll look at that or we can just close. So we'll install the software and it will come up with a splash screen. Then it basically welcomes us to this. So that will just say next, making sure that we don't have any antivirus software running. So disable that if you do, but okay. Then it will ask, this is our uh, license agreement. So we'll accept these terms, hit next. And then um, it begins to, to install. So we'll say install. And it's installing for us. And once it's complete, it'll come up and say uh, installation complete. In our case here, it's maintenance complete because we've just installed over existing file. So we'll hit finish. So now that's installed, the next thing to do is we can install the USB serial driver. Now the serial driver, uh, making make sure that you do not have it connected. And the driver that we're actually talking about is the one we saw over here, and it's this one. So we're going to be installing the driver for this uh, device right here. And if you want, we can, down, we can go to this website, we can download that driver. And that's the exact driver or the same one that we're going to be installing. So, and it also comes in that, uh, the click programming software. So we can either call up the installation guide and as you saw on our other screen, or we can actually just call up, um, the USB driver direct. So I just called up direct. It'll have a welcome screen. We hit next. Then we have a licensing agreement. I'll accept those terms. Hit next and then we install it and it'll just say wizard complete so I click finish on that and now what I can do is in actually connect my device to my uh, port and when that happens it'll start searching for uh, the serial driver we'll say skip and yes we want to skip it that's the Windows update and what it will do is then now we'll look for that programming software that I just called up. And it will start, to, it'll install that. So this usually takes a, a few seconds to uh, get it loaded. And then when it does, it'll display my port setting as well as um, it says that everything was successful. And there we go. So we have uh, COM port number six and it's ready to use. All right, that's it for now. Um, make sure you like us um, and also subscribe to uh, the channel to keep up on top of every as soon as we release new videos. Thanks for watching again.
And if you need more information, go to our website at www.accautomation.ca.